SCTV with Chris Agata following today's 3-2 win at home to have an Waterloo in the FA Cup. Aggie, your thoughts on that one? Um, we'll have to be a lot better than that if we're going to do what um, we want to do this year. That's the feeling. We just said that to the players. Um, yeah, it was almost like we got a goal down and um, the group is a bit like, well, I better start playing now. And uh, we've given them a helping hand, give them a head, uh, goal head start. Let's, let's start playing at the right tempo and intensity and speed with the right quality. And that, that's frustrating um, because it, it was reminiscent a little bit of the Western game. It was almost like we got to a place where we went, better start playing now. Um, so that's, that's something that we need to iron out because, like I said, better teams, and that's no disrespect to have them, but better teams will will uh, put us to bed and not give us an opportunity to come back into the game. So that's the that's the sort of the main takeaway for us. So ref reflecting on that first half, obviously disappointing first half, but what was the message off at half time to, to turn things around in the way you did and the fashion that you did as well? It's just really simple stuff like detail on the pass when you're playing wide, make sure you're playing in front so we can play forwards. You know, it's such a simple thing, but if you're playing the ball behind someone, it gives the opposition more opportunity to recover and get that goal side and get into that block, which got deja vu again today seeing that, um, but it was expected. Um, just detail on the pass, the speed of pass, um, missing people out on the switch as well. So rather than getting across the pitch in five, six passes, get across the pitch in two, three. And I thought we started to do that second half and surprise, surprise, we, oh, we done it towards the back end of the first half. Um, but again, it's not a, it's not really a tactical um, uh, tweak as such. It's more just, again, I, I think it's it's the, more around the mindset of the group and playing with a little bit more intensity and purpose and doing things faster. Because when we do that, we've seen it. That, like, like I said, Bournemouth, I think, are, are going to be up there. Um, irrelevant of who their manager is or was. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're a good side. And, We've shown it when we play with real intensity, we'll beat anyone in the league. But it just gets gets frustrating when it's almost like we we get ourselves into a position where oh we might lose this game and then we we start going through the gears. So um, it's definitely something that we challenge a group with in terms of ironing that out. A positive sign, and we've seen it on countless occasions now already, is the resilience of the squad mm. coming back twice today to earn the victory. Such a good sign, right? The, the, the squad are battling so hard for each other. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's. And to be fair, I, I mean, I'm not taking any credit for that because it's something that Worthing have done for a long time. I, I can obviously, I, I know Hinch incredibly well, and I followed Worthing and supported him from afar, just from a coaching perspective, really. And the amount of times I used to see the results where they'd be losing with 10 minutes to go and they'd end up winning. So it's obviously something that's built into the club, really. So. Uh, yeah, no, I think I think it's a given, really. You know, if you're a Worthing, you, you play for. You know, even if you're losing the game three 0 with ten minutes to go, there's, there's still a chance. So I think there's a real, um, in that respect, I think the attitude of the group and the mentality of the club as a whole is is uh, in a really good place. My my, my frustration is it shouldn't get to that point. I just want to win a game two 0 Do you know what I mean? I, like, want to win a game two 0 and have twenty minutes to go and relax a little bit and get the sombrero on and cigar out and you go, oh, it's all right. But it's, you just can't do it in a minute. It's, uh, so yeah, that's that's the challenge, really. And I've got to ask, yesterday the new signing revealed yeah. that Mohamedou Fahl comes in today and does exactly what you need at the, at the exact right moment. Yeah. What a word on his performance today. Yeah, I thought, I thought, um, I thought he was very good. Um, again, I, I felt his service was initially pretty average but again also you've got to give credit credit to haven't i mean as we said before the game haven't i don't think they're they're a step free team um they're a good side very well organized very well coached um sean's sean's excellent and they they did stifle us um like i said we didn't help ourselves with that but equally um a yeah, combination of factors meant we didn't get mo into the game as much as we would have liked but then we changed shape with about 20 minutes to go um, and just almost cleared passing lines into him a little bit and um, that helped no end so um, yeah and like I said that you know, 
you know, big players pop up with big moments, and it's, it's a brilliant header. It's a brilliant header, um, and it's exactly what we've we've been after. But what was great today is, um, you know, we've been able to, you know, not just in terms of Mo um, having an impact, we've been able to make real changes from the substitute bench, and we've got real options there, which is great. And the other two goals as well, real moments of quality again. Uh, firstly, Spongy. It's mm. been a while for him, for him to score a yeah. free kick, but he's scored his fourth now this season. Mm. And then Tommy Willard as well. Just, yeah, two, two real bits of Yeah, I said to Spongy, it's lucky he scored that. He didn't do much else. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's... But do you know what Spongy does? He, he affects the game. He always affects the game. So, you know, something for Spongy is, is to uh, impact more of the 96 minutes than what he does. Um, but without fail in every game we've played he will produce a real moment of quality which is better than this level so you have to keep him on the pitch um, and then Tommy I think Tommy's been excellent um, last few weeks uh, and thoroughly deserved his goal he does an awful lot of hard work for the team as well a lot of movement in behind to create space for others so um, yeah I'm delighted they, they um, popped up with two two really important goals it, it, do you know what as said, Mo, Mo will get the, the plaudits and rightly so, but the thing I liked as well is, like I said, from the substitute bench, I thought Oli Starkey when it come on was superb. Um, and again, similar to the Western game, being able to um, have players with the right mentality and attitude that are ready to come onto the pitch and impact it, that's so important for us, so, especially when we keep giving the opposition head start. So, uh, yeah, very pleased with not just Mo and Tommy and Spongy and Co, but also with Starks and uh, the other subs that come in. And looking ahead quickly to next week, you're back in National League South action away at Weymouth. Yeah. How do you feel ahead of that one? Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, we've, we've won three out of the last four, haven't we? Uh, it doesn't feel like it, though, does it? It's strange. You know? um, I think it's probably because we know that we're nowhere near our best, but I have to keep reminding myself. When I talk to people, you know, they're all going, oh, great start, yeah, really good start, and I'm... Be like, nah. But then when I actually think about it, you go, well, it's probably not bad, actually. So, But I think that's a positive because we're certainly not getting carried away thinking we've cracked it. And um, we're going to need to be a lot better than what we were today if we're going to go down to Weymouth and beat Weymouth. Thanks, Aggie. Cheers.